News in New York. It's Late Night with Poonan O'Brien. Tonight, Mark Wahlberg, Wendy Malick, Comic Team Papa, and important facial care tips for a prettier you. With Nancy Richter and the Black Weinberg 7. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Welcome to the show. We got a lot of fun stuff planned for you tonight. We're going to have a good time, but we got to talk about this first off. And don't lie to me. Who saw the big Monica Lewinsky, Barbara Walters thing last night? Come on. You... <laughs> Huge TV event. It was watched by 70 million people. It just beat our show last night. <laughs> Would you laugh at that? <laughs> 69 million people a night watch this show. Because they, they know that it didn't beat this show. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's what they're laughing at. Thanks, pal. Sure. Keep feeding, <laughs> keep feeding the insanity. No, it was watched by 70 million people. It's, I think, one of the widest uh, watched uh, TV events of, of the year. And everyone's talking about it today, and the newspapers are dissecting it. And. Uh, I saw something really weird in the paper. Apparently, I didn't know this, but after their interview was over, true story, Monica Lewinsky gave Barbara Walters a scarf that she had knitted. <laughs> Isn't that odd? It's true. Yeah, and reportedly, Barbara said, this is beautiful, but what's this stain? I... <laughs> I... <laughs> Remember, my job is not to amuse, it's to horrify. Did they, <laughs> Did they make that clear up front? Not a comedy show. <laughs> Uh, President Clinton, uh, everyone wants to know, did he watch it or not, you know? President Clinton said that he did not watch the Monica Lewinsky interview last night. He didn't see it. And uh, when asked about it, the president said, I couldn't. It was opposite Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There's just no way. She's hot, baby. <laughs> he actually said that. Can you believe it? Okay, enough Monica Lewinsky stuff. Uh, Prince. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't call him Prince anymore, no, can you? The artist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's one of the 69 million watching. Uh, the artist, formerly known as Prince, is suing nine websites for using his symbol without permission. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the, uh, the artist was quoted as saying, hey, let them come up with their own weird career-ruining symbols. That's mine. <laughs> You'll see I'm right in time. What an odd response. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. It was like, you know, huh, huh. <laughs> yeah, man! Yeah! That bumped me out, but then I knew that he was right. What's wrong with you people? everything on the show would get that response. And then bibble, babble, bobble, bibble. Ah. Thank you. Last thing I'll mention, though, this is a very true story, and it's odd. A, a teacher at the University of Ohio is in the newspaper. He says that the school is violating his constitutional rights because they won't let him wear a thong at the campus swimming pool. <laughs> That's right, yeah, apparently he's uh, talking about Article 2, which guarantees Americans the right to bare ass. Now, <laughs> I, uh... That was a nice response, but let's get back to the other response later in the show which I find more amusing. Uh, big show tonight. 
We're thrilled. Very cool actor is on the program tonight. He's in the new movie, uh, The Corrupter, which I don't think is a real word, but we'll ask him. Mark Wahlberg is on the show. Mark Wahlberg's here. Very happy about that. We have... We have from the, uh, from the hit show, Just Shoot Me, Wendy Malick is on the program. Very sexy. Very attractive. And a uh, very funny comedian is going to perform a few people tonight. Gene Papa is on the show. And then right over here, they're shaken, but they're not stirred. Jimmy Vivino leading the very competent Max Weinberg 7. Jimmy, good to see you.